descriptions of five minute English. And today, inshallah, we're going to talk about something very important, which is grammar. Uh, a whole English learner, they think that grammar is the most important aspect or the most important feature or the most important element in teaching and learning English. No, that's totally wrong. I don't accept this. And actually, it's not acceptance for me. Uh, because of what? Yes, uh, no language, we cannot take the grammar from the language. Yes, that's true. Grammar is very important in language, but when you want to speak English, you don't have to take care of grammar. You just have to let it out of your mouth. Uh, because of many things, actually. For us, as we are Egyptian, we speak English for more than 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, whatever years we're speaking Arabic for. And we cannot speak Fusra. We just speak Ammiya, which is slang language. We don't care for uh, uh, the grammar in our own language. But we understand each other, we communicate with each other, and know everything we like to speak. Anyway, let's get some evidence. The evidence of the unimportant of the grammar, which means it's not that important, is number one. Do we have ignorant friends? I mean friends having gone to in schools, having learned anything about language, about Arabic? Yes, we have. Can they speak Arabic? Yes, they can. So, if grammar is very important and essential for people to speak the language, why do these people speak Arabic fluently? They can do everything. They can speak, they can listen, they can understand. But the only problem with, their, with these people is that they cannot write anything because they don't know grammar. So, when you need grammar, when you need the visual channel, the visual channel, not the auditory channel. The auditory channel concerns the listener and the speaker, and the visual channel concerns the writer and the reader. We don't need the writing and the reading right now, so we need only the auditory channel to communicate with people, because we need language to communicate. Second proof. Have you been to permit? Of course, yes, you have. Have you seen the guy who's tall? pulling the camel in the desert there, the camel guy, he speaks three or four languages, maybe fluently, and he cannot write his own name. And even he cannot write any single word from the words he says. You know why? Because he doesn't care about this. He cares how to communicate with the foreigner people to work tourism, to do business. That's what he needs. That's the only thing he needs. Uh, the third proof of uh, that uh, grammar is not that important and you can't do everything without grammar uh, is grammar was founded and was found founded and found after the language by many years for example in Arabic in uh, the Quraysh time in our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, people used to speak Arabic Fusha without grammar and grammar was discovered after al Hijrah by maybe 300 years by Sibaway, I think. So Sibaway discovered grammar. Um, before this time, I mean between Sibaway and the old times, what did people used to do? Where were grammar? So, I mean, where were the grammar stalker? Where were they? They weren't any grammar learner because they were. It wasn't grammar. It wasn't grammar. So something you have to know in order to speak English I need you just to concentrate on how to speak and how to listen to every concentrate on grammar because every time you will concentrate on grammar you will find yourself stopping from speaking and that's not good uh, because you just need to speak you don't need to, um, to to see words every time someone asks you something you're not going to go into dictionary to see what he says and to see what you're going to say so I need you every time to, we won't speak English, just listen and talk, I don't care for grammar, grammar is not important at all, and don't think that grammar is everything, be very happy to have you here today, and I'm very, I will be very happy to have your suggestions and opinion on our group on Facebook, English House Damiuta, or on my email, mitwali underscore him at yahoo.com, and see you inshallah the next time with another episode from, oh, 5 minutes English, goodbye.